Hello TPG Tech Squad and welcome back to another one of our videos. And in today's video we will be covering uh, how to create an installation USB using media creation tool for Windows. But as always before we get started uh, make sure to comment and share the video. It really does help out the channel and uh, it will be super appreciated by me. Alright now let's get started. So uh, first and foremost, you have to actually download the tool right here because it doesn't come with Windows automatically right here. So you just need to download the tool. The link for this um, particular page will be in the description below. So you don't have to worry about, you know, just trying to read that. So we're going to download the tool now. It's not very large at all. And you should have this executable right here. So what you want to do is use this executable. So I'll start explaining how this exactly does work. It's going to take a little bit for everything to get ready for it to kind of load up. Just accept this terms of service as they typically just have you required to do. It will take a little bit to load up. All right, so you'll be presented with two options. You can upgrade this PC now, which will um, allow you to upgrade, I think, to Windows Professional or something like that if you have Windows 10 Home. Or um, the one that we're interested in is to create a media installation for another PC usage, which is uh, more useful in this context. So since it's um, more of a free software and um, it's you're not really paying for anything here it's going to have some super limitations and the number one limitation of it is if you are using windows 10 pro um it defaults like to windows 10 home regardless if you're using it on a pro machine or not and there's a way to get around it though but uh that's the primary limitation of the creation tool for um media creation tool provided by microsoft and i'll be uh discussing uh how to actually um, be able to create an installation uh, media um, using a different software to actually preserve your um, Windows 10 professional um, version. So we'll just uh, keep going. Uh, use recommended options for this PC next. And you want to select either. So you have the option to uh, directly um, install um, to your USB flash drive, um, which includes the bootloader and everything for it and uh, it formats the drive and everything and you have to at least have eight gigabytes um, of storage for it to actually function and you have the option of saving it as an iso file which is um, the standard file type for installation disk formats and stuff like that that you have for operating system installs and whatever uh, some program installs and stuff that you usually run on a cd which they're obsolete now so they're usually in this file format. There are other formats for this though, but you usually see this for uh, all of those. So we will uh, be going with USB install because that is what you're primarily gonna, gonna be using. Well, you have to have a USB to actually install anything on any computer. I should have disclosed beforehand you need a USB, which... <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, you definitely need to get a USB, my bad. I, you, I, I, again, I didn't really script this at all. So we can choose for our two options here. We have, uh, my two expansion drives, which I, I personally, um, can't really flash format right now. So as you can see, the files in your USB will be deleted if you keep these to back them up and uh, save them in another location. So this will format um, the drive and it will completely wipe out any of the data um, that was already there, regardless of the size. You know, it required eight gigabytes. This is like a terabyte drive. It will format the whole thing. All your information is gone. So you don't want to do that. You want to um, actually um, set out a USB that you want to use and uh, go ahead and format that. So when you did do click next, you select your drive you um, will begin um, creating the install um, media for it. And I've already preemptively um, created a USB flash drive. So we'll go ahead and um, bounce to me actually um, doing that on another computer. 
Alrighty then, um, now we're on to the installation phase. Uh, we've got the USB that I want to use, so the SanDisk dial. And um, what we want to do is access the boot menu. So before you um, boot up a computer, there are specific keys that you have to press beforehand in order to um, actually pull up the boot menu. For this particular uh, HP and most HPs, it's going to be F9 for you. Um, for most Dell um, computers, it's going to be F12. So I will be pressing F9. And here's the boot menu. So in this menu, you want to select um, the proper boot device you want to boot to, which is going to be my SanDisk, which is listed here. So take a little bit to load up. All right, now we're into the um, installation. So here is the typical installation for Windows 10. This is Windows 10 Home, which was created by MediaTool um, way earlier on by me. And this is consistent for if you were um, to do so um, for an, uh, Windows 10 version that you already bought, it's gonna look the same. I'm not gonna go um, much further here. So um, in order to complete the process, all you have to do is um, delete all of these partitions. Um, that's typically what I do. So I, that's that's it. It's fairly simple and straightforward with the media creation tool. Um, give it a shot and tell me um, if this was any useful or uh, if this was useful for you. Um, and all as always, um, make sure to, to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out. Hey, glad to see you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. TPG out.